Okay, good morning. Uh, for the record, I'm Chris Young, Chair of the HDC's SAC. Let's confirm access. Members, please respond with an aye. Uh, we have Ben Norman. Aye. Kevin Kuster. Aye. Mark Catone. Aye. And Paul Wolf. Aye. And staff, Esmeralda Martinez. This open meeting of the HDC's SAC is being conducted remotely consistent with Governor Baker's executive order of March 12th, 2020. That order posted with the agenda materials for this meeting allows public bodies to convene remotely so long as public access to deliberations is reasonably provided. This meeting is convening via Zoom with video and audio recording available on the town's YouTube channel. With no member of, oh, excuse me, we will feature uh, public comment, uh, materials provided Two members for the meeting or provided during the meeting are unless otherwise noted available on the town's website. During the meeting, I'll introduce agenda topics and speakers. Please remember to mute your Zoom audio until your name's called and direct comments and questions through the chair to avoid crosstalk and the making the taking of minutes easier. Votes will be conducted by roll call. With that said, let's move on to the meeting calling to order at 9.03 on June 6, 2023. Do we have a motion to approve our agenda? So moved. Second. Thanks, Mark. Ben, you're in favor? Aye. And Kevin? Aye. And Mark? Aye. And Paul? Aye. Thank you. And did uh, everybody have a chance to see the minutes that were forwarded from the May 9th meeting? Move approval. Paul? I'll second that. All right, thanks, Ben. Kevin, any in favor? Aye. And Mark? Aye. And Ben? Aye. And Paul? Aye. Great. Is anybody on the line for general public comments not relating to an application before us? Okay. Uh, how about commissioner comments? Any general comments from the commissioners? Okay, let's move on to new business. We have Bart Cosgrove, 35 Old South Road, sign here in Nantucket representing. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, good morning. Go ahead morning. and introduce us to this. Um, so this is for Gigi Hair Studio. Um, it's going to be a 28 by 20 inch double-sided projecting sign. The current sign there is pictured. It's 28 by 16. Um, there's no lighting and we're using the existing bracket. Okay. Um, Esmeralda, can you put us, yeah, scroll down so we can see that. Okay, great. And for context, this is in the key post corner area, correct? That's correct. Okay. Uh, why don't we go around, let's go Paul, Mark, Ben, Kevin. Paul? Uh, hi, um, I really don't have any questions or see any problems. Okay, Mark? No concerns. Ben? No concerns. Kevin? Uh, motion for approval. I'll second that. We have a second. Thank you. Uh, Paul, are you in favor? Aye. Mark? Aye. Ben? Aye. Kevin? Aye. Great. I am as well. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh, while you're here, we have Conscious Living at 49 Fairgrounds Road, a fence right. sign. And this is the old yoga room property, correct? Yep. She just applied for her fence and it was just approved. Um, so now we're applying for the sign separately. Um, that photo there is yes. just an example of the fence, which is also represented in slide three. Um, the fence sign itself is going to be eight by 45 and it's single sided. Um, and we are going to place it in the middle. <laughs> okay. And that's this, the application that's that was approved there. Okay. Got yep. it. Um, um, it's better somewhere further down. That's a little bit blurry. I think, yeah, outside seven is a better. <clears throat> uh, 
Okay, thanks. Um, let's go, Mark, Ben, Kevin, Paul. Mark? Um, I don't think I have any concerns. Can I just see materiality or what, how the, what's the fabrication is proposed? I assume it's, uh, so it's edge banded, painted, it's carved. And the color is navy. Okay. Ground white navy. I don't think I have any concerns with this. Okay. Thanks, Mark. Ben? Um, can we hear again the, the application of this um, sign to the fence? Is it going to be applied to the middle rail? Is it going to hang between like that new school sign? Yeah, so the new school sign is like pretty much the same style we're going for. Um, so it can be put in the middle, um, although it is a little bit, oh no, it's eight inches. Okay, so it's the same exact height as the new school sign. So it could be placed in the middle there. Uh, we're open to placement, whatever makes the most sense there from your guys' opinion. Um, but generally speaking, the same exact situation as the new school. Okay, so this scale that we're looking at right now is not really accurate because it's actually much smaller. Yeah, it's it's a quick rendering. It's a little bit tough because it's a photo on a photo, but it's just so you can get more of a sense of like the fence. Okay. Um, and the fence is approved already at the HTC. That's correct. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I think this is an approve. This I, I suspect this is an approvable application. Um, I find it a little weird just because it is a, res a residential road and, or quasi-residential road and now to have a sign. But I, I think this, the sign is very good and, and the application is, is properly presented to us. So I think it meets our guidelines. I can't say I love it, but I think it meets our guidelines. All right, thanks, Ben. Uh, Kevin? Uh, nothing to add. And Paul? Uh, I have no problem with the sign. I, I'm assuming these are flat boards and the fence. Uh, one of the things that bugs me every time I drive down Milk Street is that the Mariah Mitchell fence sign that we approve is put on a split rail fence and it sits at an angle. It doesn't go, it's not flat. It's flat on the, on the, on the fence rail. It just doesn't look right. But this, I'm assuming this, this is going to be a flat sign on a flat board. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. No problem. Okay, great. I, uh, I agree with Ben. I think this is, it complies with the guidelines, so I don't see any concerns. Um, would somebody like to make a motion? All right. Thanks, Kevin. Second. Uh, Mark? Got in on that one. <laughs> Paul, you're in favor? Aye. And Ben? Aye. And Mark? Aye. Kevin? Aye. Okay, I am as well. So Thank I'll you be recommended much. for approval. Thank you. And we now have anybody from Emeritus on the line representing 47 Main Street? Or is anybody here to represent that application. Okay. I don't see anyone here for that. <laughs> All right, well, let's uh, open it up and see what we can do. Okay, so this is a projecting sign that is six square feet. That would be bigger than our guidelines allow, which is five square feet maximum. And this property does have a lot of signage existing. And that was, I recall, done through a sort of shared space application because they had a state jewelry and semen chefs and they were dividing the use of the space into multiple tenants uh, that's just sort of history there we might 
breaking up, kind of Chris. Hold the old file to kind of review that. Um, got it. We'll go Ben, Kevin, Paul, Mark. Sorry, can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Can you guys hear me any better now? Yeah. 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 Okay, sorry, that was by my earpods going through. I don't know what you, I was saying that this, uh, there's a lot of signage on this. No. Sorry, Chris, we lost you again. He's done multiple times. Chris needs to upgrade his internet. So we file and I know they have more usually and Kevin Paul. Okay. okay, Chris, uh, I, I think uh, I, I, kinda, I think I know what you're you're saying, but um, yeah, I mean the sign's too big. I think that's if you guys lost one, me, so, I, uh, my connection may be poor here. Reducing size. Um, uh, I think we need to be careful about adding another blade sign or another bracket on a historic building. Um, in, in you know respect to the old building and not drilling into old bricks and all that stuff. So I think we need to be somewhat careful about the bracket application. Um, and then um, to, to Chris's, what I think is Chris's point, I think we need a, a full a description of all the signage on this, prop, on this property or in this uh, building so that we can determine whether approving the sign um, complies with our guidelines to how many, how many signs are on a, on a structure. So um, I, I think we need, I, I, suggest, I would suggest we hold this for further information and revision. All right, thanks, Ben. Kevin? Um, I, I agree that the sign is size too large. Uh, my biggest issue with this is I, I really am opposed to this sign being mounted that high up on the building. They already have an awning over the front of the building that is, you know, supposed to, that is their, that is essentially their signage. If they were to take the awning down, they would have room for that bracket at, at you know, at a proper height. Where they're proposing to locate it is up on the second floor. And I'm unaware of any other situation, especially down Main Street, where we would allow signage at the second floor. I think that's totally inappropriate. Um, that's my main concern. If they want to try to mount that to the side, similar to what other businesses have done, uh, that might that may be an acceptable way. Uh, only, I guess, if they were to take the other signs off the windows. Um, so uh, that's my biggest concern. Is I just think it's highly inappropriate to put that sign, you know, way up in the air like that. So that's all. Thank you. Thanks, Kevin. Paul. I agree with everything Kevin said, but I would add that it's also a sign on the canvas uh, canopy. Um, I don't think we can have both. Yeah, I think that it, they've already sort of exceeded the maximum signs allowed for this storefront based on the multiple tenant situation that they presented to us. So that's a valid point. Um, we could also look into the sign book. I'm not fully aware of combinations with awning signs and projecting signs. We should probably check that as well. Um, ben? Already, already talked. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Mark? Yeah, I agree with everything that's been said. Um, I would like to see the awning ideally remain. I think it actually adds a little bit to the storefront. And there is a uh, sort of history of these awnings along that side of the street. And um, the sign, in addition to being too large, uh, appears to lack a border of some sort. And I would want to just re confirm the colors or if color chips have been provided. Um, that almost looks like a pea green. It might be fine um in the shell color but it, it maybe it's the way it's been rendered um <clears throat> and i think that's it thanks okay i would uh, um, be inclined to hold 
I might make a motion to hold for uh, representation and additional information. And um, maybe also uh, a viewing might be appropriate to uh, just just to review signs of this type along that side of the street for those who are interested. I'll second that. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Uh, ben? Aye. And Kevin? Aye. Uh, well, Paul? Aye. Okay. And Mark? Aye. Okay, great. Why don't we hold for a representation and further information? I'd also like to add, as well, if it's possible, to pull the file on that property just so we can look into the previous sign applications and approvals. That would help. Um, okay, let's move down. We held for a view the Nantucket Glow lighting. Um, and we will. We'll go Kevin, Paul, Mark, Ben. Uh, Kevin, did you have a chance to go down and look? Uh, I did. I, I'm not, I guess my main concern is going to be whether or not that's going to weather in the way that we like it, or if it just shouldn't be you know, made black at this point. OK. Uh, is anybody on the line for Calista West? Yep, I'm, okay. I'm here. Hey, um, so so one question, I guess, I, Kevin's question about weathering is, do you know the materials? It looks like these are, is it raw copper tubing? and It's raw brass and it's unlacquered. Okay. So that's Thank thing. you. So that should weather pretty quickly. Um, Kevin, did you have any other questions or no. comments? No, I'm good. Okay. Paul? I don't have any additional questions than what's already been raised. Okay. Mark? Um, I had not previously sat on this, um, but okay. far to weigh in on the image, I don't think I have any concerns with this. Ben? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I think that the fixture feels a little out of scale, um, but I don't think that the, the gold color is helping it at the moment. Um, I would love to see it age out very fast. Let's put it that way. It appears if it's, a, if it's a like a live finish as just described, that's going to tarnish up super fast. That'll be great. Okay. Um, and I went down and actually, I think in real life, it's less uh, mm -hmm. imposing. I think the photograph actually makes it look more so than, than I felt it did on the street side. So I was not, uh, I didn't have tremendous concerns either, assuming that everything does sort of blend together with the coloring. So lighting being operable during uh, hours that the store is open, that's a key component of just approving lighting. So for the applicants, just be aware this is not meant to be uh, on when your store isn't open. Yep. But understanding that, does anybody want to make a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Thanks, Mark. Paul? Aye. And Ben? Aye. Uh, Sorry, guys. Okay, Kevin. Aye. And uh, Mark. Aye. Did I already get you? And Paul. Okay. Thanks. So this does go with a four to one recommendation for approval to the board tonight. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh, and the last item on the agenda is enforcement. Um, I understand that a number of violations or notices went out. As well, do you have any update for us on that? Um, no, other than Billy has been taking care of some of the enforcement um, because of uh, recent changes in the office. We will be tag teaming on uh, enforcement, so feel free to send them to me or to him. But we will be doing that. Sorry, Esmeralda, you said to Bill, Billy. Yeah, to, to yourself. You, 
Yeah, tell them to myself, we're going, we are both going to tag team in one those. Yeah, I've probably, just so the board knows, or the group, I probably have sent probably close to a dozen violations identified in the last two weeks. Correct. To the point, Billy doesn't even respond anymore. I feel like I've initiated <laughs> no. him. But they've been, um, I would say majority of them have been uh, window signage and um, I would say inappropriate chalkboard signs. Uh, and, and and many of them not even being chalkboards. Some are just plastic sandwich boards that are starting to pop up in front of businesses or not so, even located in proximity to the businesses. So Correct. So with that being said, a lot of the signage like chalkboards be on public sidewalks. Technically, HTC does not have their jurisdiction over them, so they'd be sent to the DPW or police department because they're on public property. If they're on their property, then yes, we can address them. Hmm, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. So Billy mm -hmm. has I, a lot of them that you sent to him. He's just been forwarded them to the police department slash DPW. So the sad part about that is I don't think they'll be addressed. <laughs> I could be proven yeah. wrong, but yeah. I. I don't I'm, think that's going to be a high priority for them. Um, it's interesting. That's an interesting loophole. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, it is. I, I, I'm not sure how or why that happened, frankly. Because uh, it seems like an illegal been, sign is an illegal sign, right? We, we've been enforcing it. We've been enforcing it that way for at, for forever that I can remember. No, no, uh, and, and you're correct. We had been enforcing them, but we were told that um, anything on public sidewalks is part of the DPW slash police department. It's funny. So I'll just, uh, I, won't, I won't cite a business, but let's say a business along South Water Street that might have had their sandwich board or chalkboard in their vestibule, if you will, just before you enter into the door is within the jurisdiction. And in the moment they put it, 12 inches outside the face, the facade on a sidewalk that falls outside our jurisdiction. Correct. Hopefully no one's watching. Um, <laughs> I well, guess I'd like, I, a little, think... I'd like a little more clarification on this as to what, the, as to what, the, what is the point of, I don't understand the point of why this ch change has happened if it's going to result in less enforcement or it, right. certainly it, it, it leaves no accountability for us. Um, I think that's, I think that's an absurd move. That uh, if it comes from if it comes from the board, fine. But if it's coming elsewhere, I really question it. Uh, and would like I, I think it's important enough for us to to uh, get more rationale behind this. Otherwise, yeah, I just that, I think it's craziness. I, I would say probably a majority of the ones I submitted then would not fall under the HCC's jurisdiction. They would they would go over to DPW at that point. And they're really flagrant violations. I mean, I, they're pretty outstanding. Okay, as well, did, did this come in form of a letter that could be shared, or was it? No, uh, this this was something that Billy um, asked our director because we were just getting so many of them, and he just mentioned that anything on the public sidewalk is part of the DPW slash police department. And I think he said it was mentioned somewhere in the, uh, so he, he referred to uh, a page, but I don't remember. I'll have to get more information from Billy if it's written somewhere okay. or if this is something that can do. Could we request it, that just be sent to us formally in, in writing so that we could then um, proceed with requesting clarification yeah, and sending it up course. to the board? Yeah. I guess via, we will request that the HDC, if we could ask uh, Chairman Pohl to get clarification on that in writing so that we can follow mm -hmm. up through administration. That would be important. Okay. Thanks. Will that be available to discuss at tonight's meeting, do you think? Is there a um, portion of I the meeting that that could be addressed? It's not on the agenda. And I mean, okay. unfortunately we don't. Um, do they have a commissioner's amazing. comments they, section? They don't. They got rid of it. Okay. Um, and I don't I will, think uh, Ray will be there tonight. Okay. So. Uh, but I with, will email him and you know attach it to you, like CC you as well, so okay. I can get clarification. Thank you, and I might also send an email to Libby requesting clarification on the process. Yeah. 
because right. we've received support from both Libby's office and the select board in the past. So it seems right. like mm -hmm. if this is the way it has to go, we'll be supported again. But obviously they'll need to give direction. Okay. Yeah, I think if there's gonna be changes like that in the future, I'd sure like to know about them ahead of time instead of just being coming out of the blue when we're talking about enforcement. I mean, that the other thing I think would be very helpful here is to get uh, is to get a spreadsheet onto onto what is being looked at uh, so that so that we're not duplicating sending in images and, and so forth. So um, the other question, the other question I have is, uh, do we have have we gotten any response on this, you know, plastic flower? applique stuff that's going on um yeah that certainly i mean <laughs> we've had town council tell us that that is within our jurisdiction so you know if we're if we're going to do enforcement i think we need to be enforcing that's all i think for the moment that is in uh ray Paul has discussed that and um i don't want to put words into his mouth exactly but he's saying that there that is not a top priority for the HTC at the moment um so i think we're waiting for their direction and it's not at the top of his uh to-do list so uh, i uh, understand I your angst kevin we yeah mark i, I was just going to circle back quickly on the off-premise sign situation um, Esmeralda, what about off-premise signs that are not on public property, but on someone else's property, which I think a few of my emails were examples of. Um, and now I assume that does not fall into DPW or police. Is that correct? If it's been, it's not actually on a sidewalk, but it's on some, like a corner of another property. Uh, oh, yeah. Whoever. Yeah. If it's on private property, then yes, we can address it. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. Uh, Got it. Okay. Uh, would you, would the board feel comfortable if I were to email Libby today to ask for clarification, or should we wait until we go through the HDC board? I, I think that it's really our job is to serve them. So I don't want to open the can of worms that we're trying to usurp them in any way. I don't know my my base. I'm not 100 percent on this, but my sense is that Libby probably has no idea that this change has taken place, uh, and we would just be causing more confusion and not. I I think Billy needs to clarify if he's the one who's recommending this, why and and how he expects it to be followed up on. Uh, I mean, it's great to kick the can over to somebody else, but that isn't solving our our issues at all, and we're coming into prime season. I, I think it's absolutely absurd that we're gonna now turn over our enforcement to the DPW and the police as if they have a lot of time on their hands. Uh, you know, we've been told in the past, it's a, with police, it's an issue with the bicycles and those sorts of things, but my God, they're not even, they're not even catching jaywalkers. How do you expect them to do this? I, I think it's crazy, just crazy. So my suggestion would be to have Billy explain this and find out, and. First of all, I think I think we should have a say into how that goes, not just one person decides this is what's going to happen. I mean, this is the same this is the same kind of stuff that happened when we got when we all got dismissed. All of a sudden, some change comes upon us that we're not even aware of. So, um, I think I think it's crazy, just crazy. I thought, and again, I don't hold me to this, but I thought that it does fall in the DPWs and um, police departments' jurisdiction in addition to HDC. So HDC could weigh in as and I, identify it as a violation. And then we could lean on DPW and police to, to assist in their removal or their being addressed because they're in a public way or sidewalk. Um, I didn't think it was an either or situation. And Esmeralda, it sounds like, did it come down from Andrew actually? Not necessarily just Billy or did I hear that? Sorry, question? I was trying to get clarification. I guess this is a fairly new change to lessen the burden in this office because we are swamped. Um, but Billy does not know exactly when the change was done or when it got spoken. But um, let, let me get more clarification on it and then I'll forward it to you guys. Thank you. 
All right. Well, sounds like we'll be discussing this some more. Um, I'll still send Ray an email expressing concern so that they can take, be prepared to take action. Maybe they can put it on their agenda so it can be discussed at their meeting as, as well. Yes, you know. Any other? Oh yeah. I guess if I guess if all else fails, we, we what do we do? Go back to the select board since they appointed us. <laughs> we well the select board. It's interesting. They've called us in uh, several times to discuss enforcement. And the you know a couple of years ago when things were getting out of control, they were asking us to do a better job and seemed to be supporting us and whatever we needed. So it's it's a sort of a, a circular yeah. passing of the buck here. So we'll just keep the process rolling. Let's go to the HDC, get them aware so they can put it on their agenda. <clears throat> and then if we need to involve the select board or Libby's office or somehow direct the DPW and or police department, we'll be prepared to. But hopefully it doesn't have to end there, but let's be prepared if that's where it's gonna go. Yeah, I just, you know, I think part of our enforcement process has been to you know, has been to notify people in a little more approachable way uh, by sending the courtesy notices. I, I, I think it's, I'm not sure how that would, would work with somebody else. Is DPW just, just going to remove it? Are the police gonna write a ticket? Or is, is anybody else gonna send a courtesy notice? Uh, is that, is that out the window since we're not being consistent with how, uh, how other things are being enforced? I mean, there's just a lot of other questions. Overall, what this kind of smells like to me is we don't do any enforcement on this island really anyway. And I just hate to see this fall into that category. So that's enough on that. Agreed. I think we've all, we all come here to work with applicants and keep the playing field as level as possible. So that's the only way to, reward them for their efforts is to yeah i and send just notices to, to the people that don't yeah just emphasize that for the record for since we are being recorded that um these, these violations go in yes they're violations but it's also to recognize those who do comply and follow the, the guidelines and you know there's a lot of people out there that are playing by the rules and I, and um i i it bothers me somewhat when i see those that are, are pushing the envelope and um I think they need to be nipped in the bud in recognition to all those that do comply. So I appreciate Absolutely. that. All right. Um, does anybody else have anything to add? Any other motions? Motion to adjourn. Are we meeting in two weeks? Oh, okay. this. two weeks. Okay. Yes. Thank you. All right. Motion to adjourn. Do we have a second? Second. Second. Mark, got it. Paul, are you in favor? Aye. Ben? Aye. Kevin? Aye. Mark? Aye. Thank you. Thanks, Esmeralda. Thank you. All right, thanks, guys. See y'all.